Hello, everybody, hello, everybody, everybody together. Clap your hands. Yes, no, 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 no. <laughs> oh, God, I've got two. God help me. <laughs> Hi, legends. Hi. It is Monty, Mel and Stacey here with you today. We are hey. the girls from Show and Tell connecting you lovely women and the old man yes. through conversation. Um, all right. We'd normally do start it off by word of the week, which is a word that we use, mm. uh, that we used to use. Tank's we, running low. The tank has, <laughs> the the really tank has low. run out. We've forgotten them. So we're going to leave it here. Although you did get I an did, email. Yes. I got an email from um, Little Harlequin Studio. I don't actually know her name, but she messaged us saying she can't shut her friend up about our podcast and she loves it so much. Oh. And could we drop her name into a podcast? And then she even said, can you drop her name and see if she notice, it notices? And even if you bag her or something, that would be even better. <laughs> her name's Emily Rowe. Emily oh, Rowe. Emily. Hey, why don't you go row you. a boat? <laughs> Let's bag her. That's, Zing. that's an old throwback. Yeah, I, I know. just bagged her. Why don't you oh, here we go. row a finger <laughs> instead of grow a finger? <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, shit. I don't even know what you just said right there. Mel, <laughs> edit, <laughs> edit, edit. <laughs> Hello, Emily. Thank Hi, you for Emily. listening. Yeah, we love you too. Yeah. We love that. We love, love, love. Um, and the number one way we grow and get more people listening is when you legends um, – Recommend to your friends. So yeah. thank you. So don't, don't shut up about us. We like it. Yeah. And, and maybe you'll be lucky enough to get a shout out to <gasps> oh! <laughs> It's just like back in the day when Agro would read out your name if you wrote him a letter. <laughs> oh, I know. Just as exciting, isn't it? Oh, yeah. Okay. So let's just crack into what is going on. Oh, We're on a bit no. of a time frame today because we've got kids to pick up from school. So I know I fucking hate my kids at the moment. Oh, Oh, well, they're back at school. How can you hate them now? I, I just don't like them. <laughs> it's because they've worn you down over the homeschooling I'm period. I'm so broken mm. and beaten down by an eight and five-year-old and people are like, oh, I need to come and spend a week in there that, thinking they can whip my kids into line. Mm. Oh, no. I run a tight <sighs> ship annoying. here. Yeah, you do. My yep. kids are just assholes. Oh, yeah, yeah. But you, look, they're not really. You just, they're just – kids are annoying. Mm. So you just either have to, you have to move your dial yeah. of expectation. yeah. That's right. Oh, you know what? Sometimes I do think, do I expect too much from them? And possibly I do. Do I want them to use people's name and look them in the eye when they see them? Do oh. I want them to use their manners all the time? Do I want them to clean up their room without me asking them? Yes. Oh, the cleaning up the room. Yeah, that's a bit much. That's but the other stuff, yes, I agree with. Yeah, I know, but they don't. I know. Everyone's doing the same shit though. I spend my day saying, pardon, because I can't stand what? What? Yeah. Mm. Yeah. You know, I spend my day saying, go and do it yourself. Yeah, Stop no. using me like a slave. Or, or just putting – it's like I said, yeah, just leaving something there. And I'm like to Bax, if you don't do that, who's got to do it? Mm-hmm. Mm. That's what I say. How's the other day? He goes and gets a drink for himself at, at dinner. And I said, oh, it's really nice if you get a drink to offer other people a drink. Mm. He goes, you live here too. <laughs> <laughs> You've definitely said that to him before. And I said, how's about you get fucked, mate, and get in your room? <laughs> Imagine he'd said, well, you've got legs. You can walk oh. to the floor. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I know. You do hear you yourself You turn into your parents, don't you? I know. <laughs> oh, and you think you, you remember back to those moments where you're like, oh, shut up. I know. Mum, just shut up. And now I'm like, oh, my God, I'm actually even using the same exact words. I know. In the same exact way. She was right. Yeah. How, how's about this? So when you go, oh, Mum, I'm cold. Hello, cold. I'm Lex. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that was so your mum. <laughs> Oh, my God. Do you know what mine is? My kids are always like, um, you know, like, I don't like cherry ripes, right? I'm always, and then my response is always, well, I was talking to cherry ripes and they don't like you much either. <laughs> Every time they say I don't like something and they see my face go to say it, they're like, all right, all right, then I was talking to cherry ripes. <laughs> I, do, I do if my son said, oh, I love, oh, I love ice cream. I'm like, oh, why don't you marry it? <laughs> You're in love with ice That's cream. Exactly you want to marry what it. Grade two is the saying right now. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, how's this? Never has something uh, enraged people as much. People are, are feeling a lot of things at the moment, and um, for good reason because we need to be making a big change at the moment and moving in a better direction when it comes to equality and justice oh, for yeah, people. But there is something that riles people up <laughs> extremely badly, and that is the way you make a cup of tea if it isn't the way you make it. Mm -hmm. Okay, so there's this lady on TikTok 
who made a cup of tea and it's sacrilege. Like I wanted to fucking reach through the, and punch her in the face. Really? Listen to this. Hey guys, so I got a lot of questions after my last video and everyone wanted to see me make hot tea or British tea. So today we are going to make tea. So fill our mug with water, put it in the microwave, set it for a minute, pour the milk in, drop your tea bag in, add the sugar, give it a little stir. And that's how you make hot tea. What a fucking criminal. It is. Oh, she's and you've got to see piss. the colour of it. It is like a piece of paper white. She's taking a piss. She just wants people to no, look at not. it. No, she's not. She's not. Oh, you can't. That's just silly. Okay, first thing, she fills up a mug, a coffee mug, which you cannot drink tea out of a coffee mug. Oh, like, you're going a bit far there. No, no, no. Yeah, but no. Okay. Okay. Then she fills it up royal out dons. of the... Okay. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all I like <laughs> eat, drinking out of is my Royal Dons. Then she fills it up from the um, tap. Just gets water in the mug <laughs> from the tap. Cold water. Puts it in the microwave. This okay. is what Americans do because they don't have kettles. And then what? Yeah. Kettles what do you mean? Like, they just don't have kettles lying around like we do. It's very English. To have a kettle? Oh, yeah. Americans don't have toasters or kettles. It's bizarre. Toasters? Yeah, toasters. They have to the grill? Yeah, it's like little grillers. Mm. Wow. Anyway. Okay. I have a confession to make. Oh, don't. Oh, shit. No, no, no. No, no, no. Don't. You can't tell me. I'm going <laughs> to no, judge you and I'm going to hate Hang you. Hang on. So if, I think I may have spoken once or twice about my love for at home. My favourite thing in the world is we've got one of those zip hydro taps. So one side is cold filtered water yep. and mm-hmm. the other side is boiling water. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So who needs a kettle? Haven't had a oh, kettle for cool ages, though. right? Yeah. No, no, no. But the hot side's broken mm. at the moment. Oh, here we go. So I'm like, I said to Mark, oh, I want to mind a cup of coffee. I said, but the fucking thing's broken. We don't have a kettle. And he goes, we'll just put a pot on the stove. And I was like, oh, I don't want to do that. Cause no, it's just another dish. So I rang my mum and she's like, just put it in the microwave. I said, really? Put it in the microwave for a minute. Hot water. And it boiled. Mm-hmm. It was hot. But, yeah, it's only time yeah, to surprise Yeah, something nasty about yeah. it. But also mm. if you're boiling water on the um, Oh, you're thinking about top, all the – oh. You don't have to wash it after it. No, you don't. No. But I've still got to dry it and put it away. I don't want to do that. <laughs> You're not washing it. <laughs> I don't wash – if I cook I peas, like well, I've started to cook eggs. a bit of peas. Yeah. Don't no, tell me no, you no, don't wash no it. No boiled eggs I would because they go mm-hmm. a bit smelly. But if I wash – if I cook peas, just mm-hmm. boil up some peas because you don't have them in there for very long, no. I'll literally just – Quickly rinse out the pan and then that's it. I don't give it a proper wash uh, after peas. Oh, you don't need to. It's no, you like don't. touching the sides. Oh, There's no good, goods c- touching the sides. <laughs> Product. What am I saying? Food. <laughs> Shit. Anyway, Shut going back to the tea, I remember my nan taught me that she's like, if you put milk in before you've let the tea seep properly, mm. it will not seep out properly. That's right. It's true. I wonder if it clogs the tea bag. I mean, the best tea obviously is loose leaf and you really mm. – Brew it. Mm. Oh, I love that. I love that. So you're so in control of your life if you only have. Do you like steam tea back with a cigar and mm. <laughs> a brandy after dinner as well? No, I just like loose leaf tea. <laughs> you sound so confident. <laughs> it's seriously though, how nice is beautifully brewed tea? But okay, I don't do it anymore. I used to do black tea all the time, but I OD'd on it because you know when you make a big cup. I just oh. kept drinking it and then I'd be like, ding, 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 ding. why yeah. am I so like, ah. so I had to stop. It's too much caffeine. When you would After brew your own coffee pot. as well. Yeah. Yeah. It's something I would do. Like when my nan passed, I got her beautiful tea set and she's mm. got a beautiful pot and I've used it once. Oh. I'd be too scared to break it. Yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's one of the reasons. I did go through a huge stage of brewing my own tea. I might get back mm. into it. It tastes so much better. Yeah, it does. does. But Stronger. I, yeah. yeah, strong. I also double bag. I only ever drink tea here. I would never make myself a cup of tea at home. Really? My daughter drinks it. Never. Really? Yeah. Something, something in tea makes my mouth feel. Oh. I don't know. There's something in it that tastes furry. Really? I don't know what it is. It makes me feel like I've, I've got fur on my teeth. Oh, that's oh, strange. Wow. Mm. Mm. It's strange. Mm. Oh, anyway, some of the comments that were written about this lady are so funny. So some of the comments that. People have written, they've been so triggered by this lady making this, <laughs> the cup of tea this way. Somebody wrote, I cannot believe a video it could make me so cross. <laughs> Somebody else wrote, if you made me a brew like that, I'd throw it all over your floor. Buy a kettle for fuck's sake. <laughs> Somebody else, just, this is so offensive. <laughs> 
<laughs> and then there's one more. Let me scroll up. Um, I have never been more mortified. It's just hilarious how triggered people are. <laughs> and I have, remember a while ago, Brooke, um, who we started Show and Tell with, one of my best mates, um, her and I did a video because we both make tea differently on how to make the best oh, cup yeah, of tea. That's right. yeah. First, didn't she? Yeah, she's, it, a psychopath puts milk in first. Oh yeah, definitely. It just doesn't. It's not the same. The tea doesn't come out of the tea bag. I love a cup of tea. Oh yeah, me too. I I, I think about cups of tea all day long. Do you? Oh yeah, I love yeah, it. Same. Yeah. Hot drinks. I just love hot drinks. You used to love cold drinks. Not with ice. Don't Didn't do you? ice. Never do ice. <gasps> Oh, ice is my most favourite. sensitive teas. <laughs> oh, my God. And I love the crushed, like a little crushed ice. Nah. Or even if I've got a big one, it's either crushed or I buy these big – you can get them at Kmart. They're like um, really big fat ice cubes you make in like silicon. Oh so God. if you have a scotch or whatever, I, what it takes of them? age – they're like three bucks. I need to get some because where did – I went to a friend's house and she made a gin and tonic and I was like, that is the fanciest fucking gin and tonic I've ever oh seen really? made in a house. Yeah, because it's just like a ball, a bit like a tennis-sized ball of ice that awesome. you get when you're at a restaurant. Yeah, well, this this isn't a ball. It's a square. It's a cube. Oh, a square. <laughs> it's a cube. No. Yeah. Get the balls because that's what fancy restaurants do. Well, of ice or not those plastic ones, not those – it doesn't – No, of, of, of ice, yeah. So it will be like a big golf ball or a tennis oh, ball that's cool. shaped ice. Oh. And so you get the cup, you know, like you fill up with just the ice, whatever. This is so boring. Okay. Oh, my God, it's so bad. <laughs> I'm talking about fucking ice cubes. I'm cutting all that out. <laughs> <laughs> you won't. You won't be bothered cutting any of it out. <laughs> okay, here we go. 45% of people who were surveyed would eat ice cream that their dog has licked. Oh, God. That makes me want to vomit. I don't even want to pat a dog, let dog alone smell. put saliva in my mouth. <laughs> would you, Layla, whose ass Be falls honest. out? On a side note, how's Layla, your dog's ass, going? It's great. Oh, great. Stitched really in good. and staying in. She's got – some bulldogs have really ugly tails, but she's just got this little knob. But as she's growing – Mm. It's like the tail's not growing, but the rest of her is. So now her ass is just totally on display all the time. Yuck. Right? Yeah. It's nice and neat and small. And she's yeah. still got a period. Are you still running around with a wet one she's wiping her vagina? Got a bit, you know, Mark got home um, from work last night and he goes, oh, have, have you wiped her vagine? And I'm like, what? Oh. He goes, Have you wiped her today? He seriously goes out and wipes her all the time. Yeah. Even when she doesn't have her period? No, when she does have her period. He's like, well, you know, and I get it. Like, I'll wipe her too, but I don't th- actively think every day. If I go there and I see it's looking a bit. Oh, God. Because I, the whole thing, I it's just so find this so offensive. It's like I the ho- am literally speechless. It's like the whole thing comes out. It's fascinating. What do you mean the whole thing it's comes out? It's like the vagina, when you look from the back, it's like it's swollen and sort of comes forward, obviously making sex easier. Huh? Yeah. Oh God, I, I I, I've learnt so much from this dog. I can't tell you. I wish so you, have we. I wish I, you did. I would not. I would not um, lick or eat anything she touched. But you'd just wipe her. But say bloody she licked pussy. your mouth. Ma- ma- say you were patting her and she's come up to you. And I would spit. My instinct would be to spit. I think if she did that. But she does. She's always got like a bit of a cold. Right, she's always like she a bit needs her um, adenoids and shit taken out. Maybe, in. <laughs> but sometimes if I'm playing with her, she sneezes in my face. Yuck! At, but my instinct is straight away. Yeah, I would never share. I would never share food with her, although her kibble is quite nice. Her kettle, <laughs> her kibble. What's a kibble? You know, like her dog food. Is that what it's called? Kibble. The yeah. brand's called that. No, it's oh. just kibble. Is that like the dry food? Oh, is it? I Fuck! No I know idea. everything about dogs. Oh. I don't. I don't want to know anymore. Makes me uncomfortable. I, I just honestly, no one cares about my dog. So no, let's just let's just move the asshole in the period in the heat. I shouldn't say period. We sound like knobs. Yes, I, I, I know, but I like heat. saying it. I didn't really <laughs> say it's period. I don't think there's anyone that's not fascinated that you don't run that you run around your house with a wet one wiping your no, dog's vagina. No, she's not inside very often. She's not inside very often. She's an outside dog. So when her bum bum fell out and you got a suture put in to keep it up there, it's kept it up. Is that right? Yeah, it has. It got, and then she had to get it taken out, mm. the suture taken out, oh. and it's been fine since then. Great. Yeah. So hopefully, fingers crossed. <laughs> Some people like just it. like literally will eat anything that their dog – Oh, yeah. Like, it's like people who sleep like in bed human. with their dogs. Yeah. A lot of people do. A lot. Way. Yeah. No A way. lot of people do. Yeah. I'll never do that. A huge amount of people sleep with their animals. I'd say probably more do than don't. Mm. 
No judgment. No judgment. Oh, absolutely judging. If you like to <laughs> crook. cuddle up to your dog. <laughs> you can tell we're not animal people. And I wish I was. Me too. I so wish I was. Don't you? Because Raph's so into animals and he yeah. asked me for a dog. Well, what about when I'm 12? And I'm like, let's revisit it then. And then you know what? I thought to myself the other day, I shouldn't give him hope. And I turned to him and I said, while you're under my roof, there ain't going to be an animal in sight. That's, that's pretty mean of you. No, nah, he just needs to know you've got to set the expectation. Well, yeah, I think I, I agree with you, but can I say, and I swear my hand on my heart, I hate dogs. I have that's no very aggressive. I don't hate them. Well, I don't hate them. I wouldn't want to see one hurt, but I don't care for dogs. Yeah. People I don't care show, for any animals. When really. people show me pictures, I'm not interested. My dog did this, not interested. Yeah. But I do love this dog. It's amazing. Well, I think you'd love it if it was your own. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So it's maybe like your you kids. Love one you don't too. want other people's kids. Hey, you know what? You know what? <laughs> For her fortieth, let's buy her a surprise dog. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> surprise. They have a surprise on your doorstep too. <laughs> um, uh, Stacey, you your house backs onto your parents, so and your parents have got a dog. Yeah, they do. So then your kids have basically got one. Yeah, and Raph. Yeah, yeah, kind of. But the thing about this dog was just hilarious. Is we don't let it in often because my kids will leave the side gate open because they play with their buddies in the street. Right. You know, it's mm. risky and she's not trained enough to be like, if she went out that way, she wouldn't necessarily find her way home. So we're very particular about making sure she's safe and only bring her down when they're having dinner with us or something. I shit you not, without fail, doesn't matter what time she's been let in, what time of the day, whatever, she shits on our lawn. Because oh, oh, she knows you don't like mark- her. Yeah, she's marking her territory probably. Mm. Who <laughs> has a shit just sitting there on command any time? <laughs> I, I said to Dad, I just really don't get how she's always got shit in there. Because it's every time. <laughs> Isn't, that Isn't that crazy? You know, I think that I reckon that she knows that you're not into her. So remember when I... The kids are though. They give her a lot of love. Yeah, but she knows that they're not cleaning it up. They're, I reckon she's smart. I reckon, honestly reckon she knows. So when I, I don't moved, clean it up. I make my dad do it. Yeah, but it's still gross on your lawn. Yeah, I reckon. T- I reckon that they're switched on when they know you're not into them. She's like, "Fuck you! I'm gonna shit here." <laughs> I um, lived in, when I moved to Albury to do my, uh, as I call it, my radio apprenticeship. I lived in someone's literal shed in Albury. It was a bit I of remember. a converted shed. Yeah. Um, and his name was Squirt, and he was a pig boner. And I lived in his shed, and they had two dogs, right? And I fucking hated the dogs. It was always dog shit. What sort of dog? I feel like she was going to tell us she accidentally killed one of them. No, I didn't. <laughs> they, were, they were Labradors. So I was backing out of the driveway one day. <laughs> yeah, exactly. No. They were Labradors. Oh, who doesn't love a... L- I, d- I honestly do not wish any harm on a dog. No, I I'm just have no desire to touch one. I don't. I, when I was younger, I did. And I've told you the story where a German shepherd jumped over my head once at a friend's house and smashed my head into the wall. And I can't help but think it goes back to that. I think it's a trauma yeah, thing. maybe. But anyway, I just gave these dogs nothing. Like I'd be like, when I'd come in the gate, I'd be like, oh, wait, 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 wait. <laughs> they went through a stage where they would shit on my front doormat. <laughs> they would just shit on my front. They had a whole massive yard to shit and they yeah. would shit on my front doormat. Yeah, maybe you're right. And it was a big fuck you, bitch. Yeah, probably. Yeah, because like a doormat. A doormat. Like no dog and wants to shit on a doormat. both dogs. Like two shits on the doormat. It's mat. like the pets movie. Maybe they actually just chat to each other. Like, let's lock this lady up. Let's oh, just take I know. a shit. Probably. I know. Oh, that's good. Oh, that is good. God. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Uh, anyway, should we go or should I tell a story? I have to go. I'm going to be late. If you're picking up your kids. No, I've got an appointment. What for? Oh. oh. What's your it's appointment for? I've got an osteopath. Oh, you're so, you're a little, really so bad. That <laughs> sounds code for paps me. Hey, don't make it's fun of people with for bad backs, all right? It's oh, debilitating. See, somebody messaged us in Mel knowing you're struggling saying yep. sit oh, on a donut. Amazing. Yeah. Sit on My, a donut. Um, you know the hemorrhoid pillows yes. people sit on because yep. it takes the pressure pressure off the back. And she was she talked about the sacroiliac joint, which is exactly right. where I've got a problem as well. Right. Great. So um try yeah, that. I'm gonna get onto that and a belt. And a belt she recommended. Oh, I'm like a one to keep your posture straight. Yes. Oh, wow. So thank you for that. That's yeah. great. Yeah. Very nice. Um, oh, we were meant to talk about that movie that has oh, sex in it. People. Um, and somebody wrote to us too. I wish I had the name saying, oh, my God, Stacey's going to die talking about this. Yeah, I don't want to talk about it. It's time to go. This is a mu- I can't wait to watch it. I messaged a friend of mine, Kerry. We, we watch shows like that together. And I said, oh, my God, you ready for a fanny tingle? Yeah, you'll 
Oh my god! What's it called? It's, it's called three hundred and sixty-five. I don't know if you say it pops Ginny up straight away in your release, doesn't it? Yeah. Oh, and it's in my recently watch, so it comes up when I put it on. Oh shit! <laughs> TV. Is it a series or a movie? Like no, a- it's a movie, and it's the worst movie you'll ever see in your <sighs> life. The acting is so bad. The plot is bad. But basically, I just skipped. I just scrolled through it to find the sex bits and watch those. And and what's the point of it? Is it just meant to be a sexy movie? Yeah, but like people, everyone's writing all these articles about how because he falls in or he sees this woman becomes obsessed with her and he sees her down the street one day, kidnaps her and then gives her 365 days to fall in love with him or she'll, if she doesn't, he'll let her go. Okay, so that's fucked up. Okay, I know, but bit. it's talking about this, you know, Stockholm Syndrome, you know, people who fall in love with their captors, but I'm like, it's just a silly movie. It's just yeah. Don't take it so si- yeah. I see what you mean. Every movie, oh, totally. I mean, every oh, yeah. movie you is know? completely fucked up. But it's the se- it's the sex. That's all anyone's. So she get obviously out of falls this. in love with him. It's oh my god, and the man in it. Yeah, he looks oh, hot. He's super hot. Yeah. Oh my god. Did you get tingles? Um. Do you know what? I actually found the lead up because she was attracted to him. He's gorgeous. I found the lead up of their sort of interaction hotter than the actual. The sex is. People are saying they have to have been doing it. Yeah, because really? it was that full on. Full. Yeah, it's full. Oh, on. They probably were. The the build up and the tension is always the best bit. It's the yeah, same when you want people in shows to just get your shit together and get yeah. together. It's so boring when they actually do. Yeah. All right, well, let's get out of here then. We're going away together this weekend, the three oh of us. I can't wait. We are. We've booked a um, couple nights away, little road trip together. We said mm-hmm. let's do a work trip, but we won't even take our laptops. <laughs> I'll take mine. Yeah, yeah you've got to well because we'll sit there barraging her with shit to do. What about this? Do you think we should try this? Who's going to action that? Oh, yes, she's the only one that can. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks um, once again for listening in. Let your mates know about our potty um, and keep the, um, you know, ratings and stuff on iTunes happening yep. for us. You know where to find us on our socials, show and tell online. And uh, we've got a bonus episode this week too. We're going to chat to Layla Garawiwi, a beautiful Indigenous woman who we have um, had as a part of show and tell before. Just to keep the conversation going, we're conscious that we have momentum going and many of us have been woken up fucking finally, me one of them. And um, we just want to use our platform to um, – do uh, do what we can. We educate do. ourselves. Educate you guys. And um, so look out for that one. Yep. Love her. Bye for now. Bye, Bye everyone. You.